matter of time Before you figure this mess out I leave all cold then you do the background And nobody's gonna tell you no Produce your own songs in your very own studio Let's prepare to bring in one of the Pro Tools Essential Loops to the drums track. The default tempo of this session is 126 BPM. If you want to change this, go to the Window menu and select Transport. This brings up the floating transport window. Click and drag the tempo up or down, or click and enter a number to change it. OK, let's find a loop. Go to the Window menu and select Workspace. Click the Search button, type Essential Loops, and press Enter. Double-click the Pro Tools Essential Loops folder. You can click on the triangles to open the folders, and you can click the speaker icon to audition loops. Make sure this metronome icon is green so the loops will be matched to the tempo of your song. Find one you like, and then drag and drop the file to the left of the drums track in the edit window. Drop it on the far left so the audio begins at the start of the track and on beat. You can easily make this loop repeat by duplicating it. The loop should already be selected. If not, come up here and select this hand tool. Click an empty spot to make sure nothing is selected, and then click the loop to select it. Press Ctrl D or Command D on a Mac to duplicate the region. In Pro Tools, you can use the spacebar to start and stop playback. Go ahead and audition the loop. Let's go prepare to record some audio. Switch back to the mixer by pressing Control equal or Command equal on Mac. Click to record arm one of the vocal tracks. As soon as you record arm the track, you should hear yourself in the headphones. Let's open the M Audio Producer USB control panel and adjust our levels. Windows users, right click the M Audio icon from the taskbar to open the M Audio Producer USB control panel. You can also double-click the M Audio Producer USB icon from the Windows control panel. Mac users, click the M Audio Producer icon found in Apple's System Preferences. Use the Input Gain slider to adjust your input level. You want your average level to be on the edge of green and yellow. If your peaks, or the loudest you'll be singing, hits the red, turn the gain down. If needed, you can adjust the output volume using the slider on the right. While monitoring your input, you may notice a slight delay. This delay, or latency, can be reduced by lowering the buffer size. Go to the Setup menu and select Playback Engine. Click the drop-down for the hardware buffer size and select the next lowest setting, then click OK. If you still notice a delay, try lowering the buffer again. As you lower the buffer size, your computer has to work harder to process everything. As you add more tracks and effects, you may need to come back and raise this buffer size to compensate if you experience audio dropouts. OK, now that we're all set up, let's switch back to the edit window and record. Click the Record Enable and return to zero buttons. You can use the spacebar to start and stop recording, and when you're done, you can use the spacebar to start and stop playback of your recording. Only a matter of time before you figure this mess out. A leave all cold, then you do the backgrounds. When you need to add more tracks, go to the track menu and choose New. Choose how many, then click Create. You can double click a track's name to rename it, type the new name, then click OK. You can continue building your song by adding loops, recording tracks, adjusting the mix, and more. For more information on recording, editing, and mixing in Pro Tools, check out the Intro to Pro Tools guide found under the Help menu. Only a matter of time before you figure this mess out. A leap or 
vocal, then you do the background. And nobody's gonna tell you no. Produce your own songs in your very own studio. Mic check, one, two, go. Make your own songs in your very own studio.